Hey there, this is Stepan with Claire Online Video, and welcome to this tutorial on adding interactivity to some popular online video players. This is part one of two, and we'll cover YouTube interactivity. As video creators and publishers, it's important for us to create a great user experience for our viewers. Not only does that include producing a compelling video for our audiences, but also considering what happens after they're done watching our videos. There are some pretty cool interactive features that are built right into some of the more popular online video channels. Let's take a look at how we can add clickable call to actions to the YouTube platform. Starting with YouTube in the fully free account option, I fully recommend researching the YouTube help page to get a full overview on their interactive features. Cards and end screens are what we'll discuss in this tutorial. Both of these allow for publishers to create clickable callouts within a YouTube video. These callouts can prompt your viewers to watch more of your videos, subscribe to your channel, and even go to an approved website. They also work on mobile devices, which is a huge improvement from YouTube's old interactive feature called Annotations. You can add these features to a video settings in Creator Studio when signed into your account on YouTube. Starting with end screens, these are basically what they sound like. End screens are designed to appear at the end of a video. A video must be over 25 seconds in length in order to use these features. To start, select the Add Element button and you can see everything you're able to insert into an end screen. I like to think of these as the next step in a viewer's journey with your content. If your viewer has made it to the end of your video, then there's a good chance that they'll want to watch more of your content. You can use end screens to feature a video or a playlist. There's an incredible feature that I think is worth selecting, and that's to have YouTube decide which one of your videos is best for the viewer. A big part of how YouTube ranks your video is based on watch time with your videos. So the longer you keep someone watching your videos, or even on YouTube in general, the better it is for best YouTube SEO practices. Letting YouTube's algorithm work and pick a video for the viewer seems like a smart way to increase that watch time. No matter what you decide, you can always go back and change this option to experiment. Another important element to consider adding to these end screens is the subscribe option. Again, the more you can encourage viewers to watch your content, the better your videos will rank on YouTube. Building subscribers can help in growing your audience and will encourage viewers to come back to watch more of your videos as they get published. Those are just some of the options when it comes to end screens. One piece of advice is to test and see how these objects look in your actual video. You can use the preview toggle to test. It's important to not block out any actual important items that are in your video. Knowing where these objects appear can also help you frame your composition for future YouTube videos. The other option on YouTube is inserting cards into your video. I like to think of these as short callouts you can have appear during your video. You can also link to other videos, channels, and even websites with cards. One of my favorite ways to use these is when referring to a past video or a topic covered. These are nice ways to send your audience directly to a video or a playlist on YouTube. To add a card to a video, navigate to the Video Settings in Creator Studio and select the Cards tab. In this area, YouTube will show you a preview of your video and how adding a card will look. You're allowed to add five different cards to a video, but I suggest taking a less is more approach and adding only one to two cards with your average two to three minute video. When you select the add card button, you will see a list of different types of options for your card. For our videos, we like to use the add video or playlist option, but some of the other choices might make more sense for your brand. For now, we'll press the create button and here we can select a video from our library or you can enter the URL of another YouTube video. Down below, you can customize the text for your card. Once you're done, we'll select the Create Card button. The active cards will appear in this section of the Cards tab. You can always go back and edit and remove any cards. In the bottom section, you have the ability to edit when the card appears with this timeline. You can select each card and move them ahead or back on the timeline. YouTube will automatically save your changes when editing these features. So there are two ways in which you can have your YouTube videos become more interactive. This will help create a better experience for your viewers and it can actually give you call to actions that you can track and analyze. I recommend experimenting with both cards and end screens to see how they work for your videos and your audience. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out part two of this tutorial on Streaming Media Producer.